This week, we go behind the scenes and talk to some of the people who work tirelessly at the clubs. Several times, one thinks the game starts and stops with the players, but that's not the case. Curator or groundsmen are usually little regarded or even looked down upon, but their work is just as important as anyone else. Our first stop is at Collismith Drive, where we meet up with Robert Jackson, the curator at Boys Town. Jackson's task is far from easy, as he tries to restore the field which hasn't been used from the start of the season after being badly hit by the drought. Well, it's going to take a whole heap of work, you know, when you find out where the field, um, you have a whole heap of rainfall, so you have a whole heap of bad weed, like skeleton grass, plenty in the field. So we just need the community to come in and help we clean up the field, and it's going to take a lot of work. You have a chemical where you can spray, we left the good grass where you want on the field. But like the bad weed where we are pick out, if we get the spray, we can spray it and it kill out. All of that, so they kill it out about in three day time. Working on the field for Jackson is an all day affair. We start like about say, 7 o'clock in the morning, taking out bad weed and we cool off and come back in the evening about 3.30 till about 5 o'clock again. I write yes on my heart like. So money now for really involved for me, take care of this girl. Yeah. This boy is torn apart of me. My brother, Diego, play here. Next brother, Richard Jackson, play here. My son, them play here. My nephew, play here. So this club is part of me, part of my life. And it kind of hurt me to see boys don't have them grown and have to play out of road. So anything that take me, individual, if you get the field ready up, it's going to take, take it out of me. With boys Town having to play their matches this season away from home, Jackson knows how important it is to get the field ready. Last year, if you look at the boys Town team, and when the competition had done, them went to a way match. Mostly the match with Boys Town win last year is over Boys Town. I won match them lose last year over here and a rivalry. But a field that is open to all elements poses the biggest problem for Jackson and Boys Town. We have people when Boys Town have a way match on Sunday. We have people and set a man them from Albro just come play on the field. And I think say in the Premier League we are the only club where we see that tag one. It now go on at Tivoli, it now go on at Waterhouse, and it now go on at it. We have to learn to protect the field. The field, without the field. See, the field already, and Boys Town can't play them more, man. So, we just ask the community, man them, the men them, will come play up on the field on Sunday, and seem like them a bad man, nobody can tell them, say, hey, come off of the field. We have an next field over there, so a man can go play up on just above Boys Town is Arnett Gardens, where we find Lorenzo Burnett, who says he does everything from his heart for the club. Everything we do is not just marking the field or cutting the field. It's not just everything. It has to come from your heart. Anything we you do, you have to deal with it from your heart. You know what I mean? For instance, to have a Monday night match, have to come early with the field. Then card it out and sit it as the sprinkler wall them full out and then I start mark and I will I done quick 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 time because the, the hardest thing to me is to card it out and from my card it out everything good. Bernick has been working at the club for 10 years. I come here, come learn everything my coach. Jerome Waits teach me first thing how to card out the field, the length of the field, the measurement, he might learn that from first. Over on it garden here we have a lot of crab grass. This one makes the field more fluffy and we have another type of grass which is the bad grass. That one becomes a bump in the field so at all times you have to try to get it out. After I cut it, you know, and then I mark it, I tell you, it's a, it's a beauty, I like it. It's a beauty, everyone been talking about it. I like how you do this and I like how you mark it, yeah. It is a beauty. 
One of the biggest drawbacks is that it's not one of the best paid jobs at the club. I want to put the PA involved because I just would say just the luck. It's just the luck because if you say the PA are not getting what I want, so therefore I would say the luck. Just the love of the football. Peter Rose takes dealing with the field at Harbourview intimately. The field has become a part of me. It's like a part of, for instance, it's like a woman. It feels my girlfriend. So the field is something I look forward to doing, dedicating my time, my effort and energy. For instance, when I'm being in the field, I go down on my knees, naturally, with my scissors, my knife, and a groom, a prune, a manicure and a pedicure. That is why you can see for yourself, so far, it is looking like how it is. So I'm trying my best to do what I can to make sure the field is up to a standard where it can be accepted for both spectators, players. First of all, start the prayer, deal with a prayer. Secondly, after health and strength. Thirdly, turn to the field and say, good morning, my girlfriend. How are you this morning? And the field said back to me, I'm doing very good. I said, okay, baby, it's my time now. And I start water, nurture, and we're nicely together. Natural flow. Half of you were also affected by the drought, but Rose found a way out. The individual person who is taking care of a field during drought must know that the process will be more tedious. Therefore, you, the individual person, have to find ways and means of going around the drought. For instance, when the drought was up in its peak, what I did was got some buckets and some pint buckles, bore them, aerate them. That means, for instance, now slow drip style, put them on the peel. That means uh, for every three feet, I throw back on the peel. And the pint buckle leaks out in about two to three hours by slowly puncturing at the buckle. So the peel kept aerating and water during the drought process. It's up to the individual person to have a common sense and ability to know how to go around things at times. I will not leave this alone until it is perfected to a state which I know. If people come to Jamaica and see it, they can say, yes, this is one of the best fields in the Caribbean. That's where I'm heading for with this field. So there will be no short change, no drawing back, no if and but, but straightforward. For instance, now, rainfall tonight now, and tomorrow, they train in the morning now. So after training, directly you know that it's mud. So what you do now, the evening, after the, the training, you use the hoses and flush the spots, the stud marks and those things. So you find that the other day, following day now, when you wake up, you find that the, the hose and the stud marks, which were there the previous night, have been erased totally by the splotching with, with, with the, the jet hoses here, as you can see for yourself. Cornell Austin is a team bus driver at Harborview. It started a long time ago, but officially I started working with about 15 years ago. And the reason why I come to Harborview Football Club because I love football and I also love the Harborview team. So from just here, I started from. Players are very good, you know. They treat the driver good, and they encourage the driver. And I also talk to them a lot during after match. You know, I can wrap with them. So I cope, them cope, I know how to cope with them. 